What do you think, Levi? You ready to review the forest? All right, let's do this, buddy. Welcome to January, a forest of shitty movies. The Forest stars Natalie Dormer and is directed by Jason Zada. Okay, we're definitely going to need this for this review. And just on a little side note, this is my secret weapon for doing movie reviews. No, I'm not being paid by Monster. I need this to get me through some of these reviews, especially reviews like The Forest. So here we go. So in The Forest, Natalie Dormer, she actually plays twins. Uh, Jess and Sarah. And so in the movie, Jess, who lives in Japan, goes on this field trip to Mount Fuji, and she ventures into the forest, uh, this real place, I, I think, that kind of has an urban legend behind it, uh, that if you go in there, you will want to commit suicide. It's really a haunted forest. And so Sarah's sister, Jess, becomes missing, and Sarah goes to Japan to try to find her sister. Okay, where do I begin with this monstrosity? You know, I'm gonna say it's January, and in January, that is generally when Hollywood just dumps the worst crap on us. And you just hope that you might get something that's worthwhile. Um, but no, The Forest is still just another one of those really shitty movies. Which is a shame because I am a horror fan. I love horror movies. I crave good horror movies like It Follows. But before I tell you what is so bad about this movie, let me tell you a couple things that I liked about it. First of all, I did like the premise. Um, I lived in Japan for three years. There is so much culture there. There are so many beautiful things to look at. Everything just looks different in Japan than it does here in America. And it's a fine place to film horror movies because, as you know, Japan is known for great horror cinema. And The Forest is a real location set in Japan. So with the right director, this should have been a win-win. Also, Natalie Dormer does have great screen presence. I'm a big fan of hers in Game of Thrones. I thought she was fine in the film. I never found her annoying. Uh, I actually enjoyed her character in this. But the problem is the direction, the execution. And also, there is one section in the movie, I'd say about an hour in, where Sarah is in the forest and she starts losing her mind and she falls into this cavern. And there were a few scenes in that section of the movie that were very promising. And there were a couple of really good scares in that scene. And I think if they would have stayed the course with that vibe, that tone of the movie, then it would have been a much better movie. But unfortunately, that's only about five, 10% of the movie. Everything else around that scene is very lackluster. Okay, now let's get into what is horrible about this movie. Really, it comes down to the execution. When you're doing a horror movie, there has to be kind of a build there. There has to be an undercurrent of tension all the way through the movie. And there's none of that in the forest. You feel like you're kind of going through the motions. Uh, she finds out about her sister. She gets to Japan. But in the meantime, there's nothing really spooky or creepy going on. It's almost like the director is filming just a story, but it's not really a horror story. I've actually used this quote in previous reviews, and it's a quote by John Carpenter, and I think it's so simple and so effective. A great horror movie should do three things. It should A, scare the audience, B, scare the audience, and C, scare the audience. And that's what John Carpenter does so well. He keeps that mantra in the back of his mind throughout his whole shooting process because he knows this is a horror movie. We have to keep the audience in a state of tension throughout. Also, lazy jump scares. This movie is just riddled with jump scares throughout what scenes are meant to be scary because there aren't that many of them except for maybe the last 10-15 minutes. And I think any good horror director should have a tool belt of different scare techniques in order to scare the audience. And they should all kind of serve the story. And in the forest, it's just let's insert a jump scare here, let's insert a jump scare here. And we're going to be able to tell when these jump scares are coming, by the way, and they're not going to be scary at all. And finally, this movie is just so predictable. I saw the ending coming a mile away, and it really just didn't feel like a satisfying ending. The whole movie didn't feel satisfying. And it's a shame because I thought there was a lot of potential there given the setting of Japan. I love Japan. And this whole haunted forest uh, concept. 
So in the end, guys, I'm going to give The Forest a two hours lost. It is not a movie I'm going to waste my time on again. So did you go see The Forest? What are your thoughts on this movie? Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. And while you're at it, what are some of your favorite Japanese horror movies if you have seen any? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and Rumdome out.